Missing Cars. It was a busy time for the little engines on the island of Sodor. Reneas had delivered cars of chicken feed. And now he was enjoying the beautiful view as he puffed back to the transfer yards. The narrow gauge controller was waiting for Reneas. He had one more job for him. I want you to take these cars of slate to Thomas at the wharf, said the narrow gauge controller. Yes, sir, wished Reneas. So Reneas coupled up to the cars and steamed slowly away. Further up the line, Scarloe was taking on more water. Reneas was happy to see his friend. Hello, he chuffed cheerfully. But Scarloe wasn't cheerful. I'm tired, groaned Scarloe. I've been working hard all day, and I still have to pick up stone from the quarry. Then I have to collect coal cars from the transfer yards and deliver them to the wharf. Scarloe's water was full, and he puffed sadly away. Reneas wanted to help his friend. Then an idea flew into his funnel. I'm going to the wharf, he thought. I could deliver Scarloe's coal cars for him. It will be a nice surprise, he puffed, and he raced quickly back to the yards. Reneas steamed back into the transfer yards. Why are you so excited, whistled Peter Sam. Can't tell you, cried Reneas. He didn't want anyone to spoil the surprise for Scarloe. He coupled up to Scarloe's coal cars. Biff bang, biff bang, clanked the freight cars. Then Reneas set off. Soon Reneas was chuffing up a steep hill. Pump my pistons, he gasped. I can't pull my cars and Scarloe's cars. They're too heavy. So Reneas chuffed back down the hill. He puffed into a siding. And Scarloe's coal cars were uncoupled. I'll deliver my own cars first, huffed Reneas. Then I'll come back for Scarloe's. Now it was easy for Reneas to steam up the steep hill. <laughs> 